Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Bumiseti. In this video, we'll cover one of the snowflake feature or snowflake topic that is a result scan. We'll see what exactly result scan will do. So this is one of the important feature we'll use our day-to-day -day activities. Let us discuss one by one. Okay. okay, this is the snow site UI. We are in UAT11 and SC schema. Now in this database, in this schema, I want to find list of table. I'm going for show tables function. So by show tables, we can able to get the list of table. Now see here, so by kind we can able to send, these are permanent tables and these are transcend table. My requirement is that what I want to filter only the transcend table. So directly it is not possible. Now in the snowflake, we are having the concept of a result scan. So what exactly see, it returns the result set of a previous comment. So it, so this entire result set will convert into tabular format. How can I do? I'll try to explain. Select star from table. Okay, so table, bracket open, bracket close. The function name is a result underscore scan. We should pass here the query ID. We can pass the last query ID. So the last query ID, or I can click on this value, copy the query ID and paste here, okay. So see, we can able to get it done. Now requirement is that what I want to get only, so transcend table. Now this entire result set, we are, so this is result set converted into tabular format. Now I can able to do the filtering. It will act as a normal table. So where kind equal to transient. So transient table, I want figure. Now here one, one point you should notice that, okay, see, it says invalid identifier kind. So but kind column is there, see, our kind column is there. But what happened, it says, in way. So reason is that what we should put is column name in the double quotes this is the functionality. Okay, see, so we should put the column. If I remove this, what happened? It can't able to understand what the thing. So for this purpose, we should put in a double quotes, double quotes. Now what happened? See, we are getting only transcend tables. I want only the name column. So see, put name. What I said just now, so see, it, want, it can't able to recognize what exactly. Now what I should put? I should put inside the double quotes, double quotes. For the pointer. So this is the way we can able. If you, one more time, I'll try to go back. Show tables. Okay, see it will you list of tables. Now requirement is that what I want to select only putter tables only. Then directly it is not possible. So then what happened? We are trying to convert into select star from table bracket open bracket close. So result scan. Okay. So now what happened? Okay, now I should pass the query ID. So click on this value, copy the query ID. This entire result set we are converting into tabular format. Now it's access a table. Now I can go for filtering concept where name in what happened, I can able to pass the respect to table. I want to get this table. I want to get this table. Okay, I can able to get like this. But what happened functionality is that what we should put in a double quotes. Now what happened, I want to know what is the kind. Okay, see table type, click on kind. Now see. It will throw here because now what happened? It can't able to understand. We should put in double quotes, double quotes. What point does see? I can say these two tab two tables are permanent table. What the point does see? So functionality is that what? So if you want to filter, see this result set, I want to filter directly. It is not Paul. That's why it's converting this result set into tabular format with the help of a result scan. We can pass last query ID or by using the query ID. We can so this is the concept of result scan. Simple. It convert the result set into tabular format. I can able to use in multiple places. Okay, so if you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.